Shanti, how did the five books of Vedanta philosophy come about? Yes. I was searching all my life and all the spiritual masters could not give me the answer. So when I came across research of quantum physics, I got excited because so many things, all the swamis and spiritual masters explaining theory, more like miracles, quantum physics proved as a reality, I could see through the light. So this is the book I wrote that explained some of the ancient philosophy called Advaita Vedanta and quantum physics. So I put them together. This was the original book I wrote in 2015. Then I was in the hospital. So one year was spent doing and then traveling. So in 2017, when I traveled in India, I talked about this philosophy and people liked it. And they say, if you translate it, then we will benefit it. So I say, I will put it in simple English that people can benefit from it and I will get somebody to translate. I give thousand dollars to somebody who is prominent and promised to translate in Hindi and Gujarati. He did nothing. I consider money is lost. I did my duty to provide that. This is the book I wrote. It's called Wake Up. It talks about primary goal in life and secondary goals to support it. Primary goal is to find self, bliss, freedom, liberation. Secondary goal is to accept life as reality, gain perfect health, get money, earn time and wisdom to balance. This is all about it and so many issues which are reflections. Reflections on everyday life. So there are 92 reflections explaining the essence of it which is usually misunderstood. So this is the book. Then I came across people who come to me who are professional and they complain. I cannot afford. I don't have time. With all the income they make, they cannot manage their time, their money. So I explored further and I wrote the book Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap to Liberation. It deals with quantum leap, approach of quantum physics and using subconscious mind, self-hypnosis, biofeedback, deep relaxation and affirmations, you can manage your life. You can gain surplus of money, time, wisdom, no matter where you are, you can be happier having surplus. Wisdom gains most of the points, 40 points for wisdom. So I explain them with all the techniques you can attain your goal by putting your intention, clear intention in the cosmos, Akashic record or bank of memory, everything is there and it offers what you ask for with the law of attraction. So that is what I wrote in that book. Then still people complain because there are distractions. So I saw we are in Kali Yuga. So I wrote the book Spiritual Awakening in the Age of Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga means everything is changing fast. Lots of information available. Lots of immorality, restlessness at personal level, social level, political level. You can see what is happening today. Uncertainties. People have abundance of everything, still they are lost. This is Kali Yuga. So I showed that Kali Yuga, which is curse for most people with all the comforts and technology and information can be utilized to your advantage. So I wrote Kali Yuga, 
presence and opportunity. So you utilize all the things available now. And then thinking further for myself, what will be easy path for Kali Yoga to make a quantum leap? So I was searching for myself and the result of my 50 year of search that is good for me. I also was thinking about students. They were looking for something but they cannot sustain their enthusiasm because there are distractions. They get lost in the means. They get lost into doing yoga positions, lost into doing breathing practice, pra uh, practicing morality, practicing dietary discipline. They get lost in helping others. So uh, inspiration came to me and that relieved me really is to find threefold path. And this is the latest book, most simplified book called Threefold Path to be bliss. So bliss is the goal. And path means direction. Don't be goal oriented. You can be happy each moment of your life. And it is a simplified essence that doesn't conflict any religion. Anyone who doesn't believe in God, anyone believes in any God, any Guru, it doesn't matter because this has nothing to do anything outside. It is your essence, who you are. And this can be practiced, simple practice can be practiced by anyone at any time. As long as one is breathing and one is thinking, you can practice lying on the bed, you can practice while working, while driving at any time. So you find the joy of living. It has clear-cut simplified meditation to those who are totally new and it has 55 reflections with bullet points so you can just read and contemplate on one or two of them every day also it has affirmations so this is simplified book for all the ages all the people who are open to receive it is given away by love offering of five dollars so that one can benefit from it.